Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video. She's out and about. You get that? I said that earlier, earlier videos. We're going to talk about the Batman Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League controversy. Uh, we'll go into a little more detail on this channel. We've covered it on the gaming channel. A lot of people very angry about how Batman was treated at the end of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League because Spoiler, spoiler, Harley Quinn kills him execution style at the end of the game. And that's how they end the Arkham universe. And it was believed at the time that that was Kevin Conroy's last performance as Batman. But that's how they end his time, his 30 plus years as Batman. Uh, they end it by him getting shot in the head by Harley Quinn. Thankfully, that is not the case. Now, that does not mean that that was a good ending for the Arkham series at all, right? Definitely not. But it does turn out that there is another role that he's going to be in. He's going to be in uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 3. So there we go. That is actually his last performance. And I would tell you, if if I were at Warner Brothers and I was like, hey, yeah, you know, Kevin Conroy passed away and he was a beloved, beloved voice actor, probably one of the most beloved, easily one of the most beloved modern voice actors out there. And uh, he unfortunately passed. Uh, having him get shot in the head in his very last role is probably not a good look. It's probably not going to help you know, sell games. I mean, people already have a lot of issues with this game, but that's not going to help. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. Again, no woohoos. Uh, no woohoos. She's not here. She'll be back. Don't worry. She'll be back. She will be back. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, let's talk about his last, his actual last role first, and then we'll walk it back and we'll talk about the controversy. If you're watching this video, you probably are very aware of the controversy already around the ending of uh, the Suicide Squad game, which is going to be a freaking disaster. This come from IGN. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League isn't, isn't Kevin Conroy's final Batman performance. Thank God. Uh, following his untimely death in 2022, it's been widely assumed that Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League would mark the last time we heard the actor reprise his famous role as Batman. He is hands down the best Batman live action or animated ever, RIP. And uh, yeah, it, to, to have him go out like that is just, it, it's horrible. It's horrible. While Kill the Justice League is indeed his final video game voice appearance, as the character, again, I think it's still a really shitty ending for Arkham, but whatever. Uh, he has a posthumous performance coming up in animation. IGN has learned from a source with knowledge of the situation. This is probably damage control. Like, wait, wait, but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. There's more Kevin Conroy, guys. That's We wouldn't have done that to him. I, I hope to God not. He'll reprise his Bruce Wayne and Batman, the animated series, role in Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 3. Which I need to watch that. I guess part did part one just come out? Is part two out yet? I it actually looked pretty good. The trailer looked pretty good. And I was like, well, this looks a hell of a lot better than the Flash. That's that, that's for sure. It looks pretty decent. And Crisis on Infinite Earth was like the first DC anything I read. And I remember that as a kid and uh the comic shop owner, because I, I told him I was into Marvel. Like I liked Spider-Man, X-Men, Transformers, G.I. Joe. That was my thing. And the comic shop owner at the time was like, well, here, here, check this out because they're going to reboot DC. Like now's a good time for you to get in. If, if, if you're not familiar with these heroes and like I knew Superman from the movie, you know, or whatever the super friends, but, but uh, yeah, so I read crisis on infinite earth and I had no freaking idea what the hell was going on because there were all these characters and these multiverses and like, like, okay, I recognize Superman from the cartoon. I recognize Plastic Man. I recognize The Flash. I don't know who 95% of these characters are. But I did start reading, like, the John Byrne Superman after that. And it was pretty good. And, uh, you know, and then they've, re they've rebooted the DC Comics universe, like, 5,000 times since then. Anyway... Anyway, yeah, so uh, that's going to be his last role. Conroy's publicist declined to comment. Oh, wow. IGN has reached out to Warner Brothers 
Home Entertainment, which is distributing the Crisis on Infinite Earths trilogy for comment. A previous version of the story said Conroy also recorded a voice role, but potentially not as Batman for Bruce Timm's Batman Cape Crusader, an animated series picked up by Prime Video. Yeah, that one might be kind of interesting. I don't know. That's one. Batman's got long ears, but Bruce Timm's involved. I don't know. Later, they clarified that's not the case. Uh, we were hoping to have him do a voice for the new show and was eager to do it, but he passed away before we could make it happen. That's very sad. Uh, Conroy, of course, is beloved for his performance as Batman, both in the animated series and in the Arkham series of video games. With that in mind, a bit of... A bit? A bit of controversy... A controversy arose in regards to one of his scenes in Suicide Squad, which was just released in early access. We won't spoil the details. Yeah, Harley Quinn shoots him in the head because that that one uh, game company, Sweet Baby Inc., wrote the script. And of course, we got to kill Batman because Batman's problematic, isn't he? Like, there's been a lot of attempts lately to just drag Batman. He's a rich white dude. He's using his privilege. He's a fascist. He's a Nazi. He's a this, he's a that. And we've seen it. We've seen like the deconstruction of Batman. So how do you get to people? Well, we'll just have, we'll just have uh, Harley Quinn just come in and just pop him in the head. And that's how it wasn't even the Joker. Like I could even see the Joker doing it. You know, uh, it wasn't even the Joker. I could see like a freaking, I don't know, disgruntled Robin or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, but Harley Quinn, are you freaking serious? Oh, cause she's popular right now. And she's a woman. She's popular and she's a woman. So that's, that's why it had to be her anyway. Yeah. They said kill the justice league marks his final appearance as Arkham Batman. That was stupid. That's stupid, stupid freaking God. That was dumb. Like serious. I don't understand what the hell they were thinking. I don't know why they went through with that. Like, especially given Kevin Conroy's passing, but just just how beloved the Arkham games are. You just released, didn't they just release, like, a remastered version of the trilogy for Switch or something? Like, they made a big deal about, like, oh, finally you can play Arkham on Switch. I don't know how it's got to play on Switch, but you can finally play. Yeah, it, people love those games. They love those games, Rocksteady. And uh, this is what you do. This is how you end it. Uh, this is coming from Forbes. Why Batman fans hate Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. What happens to Batman and kill the Justice League? Uh, Harley uh, Harley shoots him in the head. You know, she accuses him of, but not before running him down, dragging him. Uh, you know, he caused long-term mental and emotional damage to everyone he knew. Well, that's not untrue. Batman asks Harley if she's done with her bad stand-up, and Harley said she saves the best joke for last. She shoots Batman in the head at point-blank range. I mean, what the hell? That's it. That's the death of Batman, specifically the Batman featured in the Arkham game series, which is largely beloved by gamers. The scene seems to be deliberately anticlimactic and subversive with Harley gloating. Bet you didn't think it'd be me at the end. Huh, bats? The controversial cut scene has been posted online and has sparked heated discourse. Why are fans mad? Hey, look, Aaron Sparrow's on Forbes. Look at that. I can I can see a case made for this being disrespectful of Batman, but how is it disrespectful of Kevin Conroy? He signed on to do it. Yeah, and play the character's death scene. Seems like he was fully on board unless we have evidence uh, they lied to him about the story. Well, that's true. Um, you know, that is true. But did he take the role knowing this was going to be his last? Well, he, he knew it was going to be a last Arkham game for sure. Uh, they'll probably bring him back via AI, which is not good. Uh, this is Ted. This is Ted. Fans don't like seeing their favorite superheroes die. It's not the fact they killed him. It's how they killed him. The premise in general is also disrespectful. Why did Warner Brothers think it's a good idea to make a game about killing the Justice League and tying it to one of the most popular versions of Batman? Uh, because money, they thought. But this is anti-money, isn't it? This is like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Fans of the Arkham game franchise are disappointed. This underwhelming death at the hands of a relatively underpowered villain is the final fate of Batman. At least he had to like trip and fall down the stairs and break his neck or something. <laughs> you know, that would be like the worst. That'd be like the worst ending for Batman. This isn't the first time Harley Quinn has best of Batman in the Mad Love episode. The animated series Harley successfully captures Batman and comes surprisingly close to killing him. Yeah, that's true. In an ironic twist, Batman is saved by the Joker, who's furious that his sidekick girlfriend managed to capture his arch nemesis. I was kind of expecting the Joker or Superman to show up and stop it. And that's not 
That's not what happens. Uh, on social media, many fans were unhappy that the death of Batman was portrayed in an edgy cutscene that belittles the character. Some were also upset that the Flash was murdered in your... Wait, what? I didn't see this. Holy shit. Some were also upset that the Flash was murdered and urinated on... Am I reading this right? They were upset that the Flash was murdered and urinated... What the fuck? They piss on the Flash? I... This is the first I've heard of this. Holy shit. The fuck? They pissed on the Flash. Oh my God. I just, I need to take a minute to process this. Sorry. What the fuck were you thinking? What the fuck were you thinking? <laughs> Others mock the backlash, pointing out that the game is literally titled Kill the Justice League. Yeah, that's true. It is. At least it, you know, what do they say uh, in, in the UK? Uh, at least it does what it says on the tin. You know, you call a game Kill the Justice League. It's like John dies at the end. If John doesn't die, it's disappointing. They compare the tone of the game to Deadpool. But is this canon? Is this the canonical end to Arkham? Fans seem unhappy that Suicide Squad killed the Justice League, didn't show Batman escaping through a clever backup plan, or a deus ex machina, as the character traditionally would. Yeah, he would have. Or I thought maybe it was like clone Batman or pod people Batman or something. No, no, whatever. Whatever. In 2007, many Captain America fans expressed disappointment after Marvel killed him off via a bullet from a sniper rifle. Then they made him a Nazi. Uh, then we had uh, the gamer. Remember the gamer, the one that was calling for the boycott of Hogwarts Legacy? Yeah, they, um, they were uh, cheering it on. They were like, this is fantastic. You know, we need more subversive video games like this. I'm like, yeah, The Last Jedi was subversive. And look what happened to Star Wars. I'm just saying. Some things, it's better not to f fuck with them. I'm just saying. Um, Yeah, the Daily Mail even covered it. They were pissed. God. Yeah, it comes out February 2nd. Groundhog Day. See, but that, there you go. There's a twist. It's, it's Groundhog Day. You can just have him come back again and again and again until he gets it right until he doesn't die. But um, interestingly enough, there are nods to Kevin Conroy and Arlene Sorkin, who was the original voice and inspiration for Harley Quinn. She also passed away, I think it was last year. It was awful. And she wasn't that old. I think she was in her 60s. But uh, RIP, she passed away. Two very, very beloved voice actors. And... Um, so they both passed away, but they gave them a tribute, I guess, in the game. But you have to you have to squint to find it. They're like, uh, this is come from Games Radar. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League features tributes to Batman and Harley Quinn's late voice actors, but you have to squint to find them. Um, it features a tribute to them. Okay. As highlighted by Culture Crave on Twitter, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League features tributes to the late Kevin Conroy and Arlene Sorkin, the pair are beloved for their roles as Batman and Harley Quinn. The tributes can be found on two gold plaques hidden in Metropolis. Hidden. Hidden in Metropolis. Both feature the phrase in loving memory as well as each actor's name and a nod to their roles. The Bat logo for Conroy and Harley's diamond motif for Sorkin. Yeah, Kevin Conroy, uh, I thought he was older than Sorkin, but yeah, he died at 66. He had cancer, I believe. And Sorkin died, I, wanted, I think it was MMS. I think it was MS. I think that's why she died. But let's see here. Yeah, there are the um, here are the plaques. Let's look at this. Uh, I want to look at this because they at least they did that. Okay, well I'll, I'll give them that. At least they did that. But hopefully they have something at the end of the game too, because not everyone's going to see this, you know. But um, there we go, guys. Uh, so yes. Anyway, the good news. The good news is that uh, there will be more Kevin Conroy Batman. And I do have to wonder, I mean, this isn't me being morbid. This isn't me, uh, you know, beating the AI drum or whatever. But the way things are going right now, it is very possible that his family could decide to, like, sell his voice. And we have Kevin Conroy Batman digitized forever, you know, uh, which is kind of ghoulish in some ways. But, like, 
I can't imagine anyone else voicing him either. I mean, he was fantastic. He was so good. Such a dude, such a good actor. Such a, a, a nice man, too. Everything I've heard from people that have interacted with him is that he was just genuinely nice. Same with Arlene Sorkin, too. She was just a very, very nice person. And, um, you know, it's, it's sad. It's really sad. And I, I think that's it. I think people are... I understand it's just a video game or whatever, but people are still mourning the loss of him. So to have him off like this... It just puts salt in the wound. You know, not a good, not not a good look, not good timing. Let's just put it that way. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later.